My name is Alex Ahad. I am the creator and art director for Skull Girls. The process starts with me creating the character concepts. The animation team and I, along with input from our lead game designer, Mike Z, brainstorm and create the moves for the characters, which are drawn on paper. To help the team of artists and animators working on the game maintain a consistent look and art style, model sheets are used as a guide by all artists and animators on the team. The reference sheets show lines, shading, color map, as well as character scale and how the characters are assembled. The shading layer shows how the characters are shaded in terms of giving them the illusion of depth. The false color map, it's not the actual colors of the character, but it's just like designated sections of which areas are gonna be what color. So if we want a character's hat to match their dress, we can do that. But we can also have it that the hat is a different color than the dress. Once we have a concept for the character, keyframe animations are created based on the rough sketches and added to the game to determine basic timing. Once the flat rough animation is tested in game and we get a good feeling for it, the animators add in between frames as necessary. Once the move is fully animated, then it's ready for cleanup. That's where we take it to have the lines cleaned up, the shading layer, and the false color map added. Every frame of animation for each character is hand drawn with anywhere from 1200 to 1500 frames. That covers all of their animations, including their attacks, special moves, and intros. This is like 2000 man hours of work you're watching in 20 seconds. An in-engine palette editor helps the artist visualize the color palettes so they can create different color palettes per character. Thanks to the shading layer, the number of colors the artist needs to tune is greatly reduced and automatically gradiated for the final look smooth coloring. And here's the final animation in its full glory. My name is Alex Ahad. I am the creator and art director for Skullgirls, and thanks for watching.